Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a quick screencast here on forces. Uh, I'm going to go through the lecture slides which you have access to in Canvas. And uh, if you take a look, uh, there's also a little video clip on the first slide um, of the actual notes if you're interested in a little bit of extra information. But the uh, focus today is on force. Uh, up to this point we've talked about motion, speed, velocity, acceleration. Um, force is a little bit different. Uh, we are actually looking at mass and acceleration. So you've learned about this before, and you should have a pretty good understanding of what mass is. But uh, a force is an exertion on a body in order to change the state of rest or motion. Uh, it has a magnitude, which means an amount, as well as a direction. Uh, magnitude would be considered the size of the force. So something that is not moving, we can make move and something that is already moving we can make stop or change its direction and that would still be considered a force. Uh, we have two types basically we have a balanced force and an unbalanced force. A balanced force is when the force applied to an object produce a net force of zero. A great example of this is no one winning a tug of war. The force that's being applied in both directions is balanced out so therefore there is zero movement. Another example would be just something sitting on a table. The table is pushing upwards on that object, this box here, and the box is pushing downwards. Both of that um, would be a balanced force. Um, here's some examples of balanced forces, uh, just to give you some extra information. Uh, note, get used to this. Uh, the unit that we are going to use for force is called the Newton. The Newton. So um, when we look at an object here, 200 newtons, 200 newtons, these are balanced out. No movement is occurring. Um, the forces are balanced. An unbalanced force is when the forces applied to an object have a net force. So this would be someone winning a tug of war. Uh, one object is moving um, and the other is moving with it or an object is applied to another object causing it to move, maybe like in pool or billiards. Um, so some examples of that, getting pushed over, uh, pushing a curling stone as you can see down there, um, pulling a sled, seesaw, those are all considered unbalanced forces. Bottom line here, something is moving. Now there are forces, other forces that we're going to talk about throughout the next couple of weeks. One of the big ones is going to be the force of friction. And that is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces that are in contact. Uh, friction occurs because the surface of an object is rough. Uh, so here you can see direction of motion this way, friction force is going that way. So it's always opposing motion. In order to come the force of friction, the applied force must be greater than the force of friction. So take a look here. Um, here we have an object um, and this person is trying to push it. They are pushing 368 newtons to the right, which is considered the applied force. Another vocab word for you today. And then the friction force is 250 newtons coming back at you. So if you look at these two, are those two numbers equal? No. Which one is larger? The orange one here, which is the applied force. Is this object going to move? Absolutely. So an applied force can either be a push in this case, or it could also be a pull. Those are both options for an applied force. But in order for something to overcome friction, the applied force must be greater than the force. Of that friction. Uh, notice that we have something called the sum of forces here. If you take 368 minus 250, there is 118 newtons of force going towards the right. And that is the sum of those forces. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know uh, or let your other science teacher know. Hopefully that gives you a good idea uh, of what forces are. Uh, as you move forward, please note you always have access to the notes. So if you need any other assistance, you can check there as well. Have a good day.